Hey guys. Last soap in the series for the Fruits and Florals collection. This one's going to be a little complicated, so I'm not going to talk throughout the entire video. I'll just throw some music over it and we'll get started because I expect a whole lot of stuff to go wrong with this one. I'm praying it doesn't, but you know. <clears throat> so this one is going to be named Grapefruit Sunrise. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six different colors, ranging from pink, orange, yellow, all different variations of those colors. So let's get started and see what happens.
Well guys, after lots of um, choice sentence modifiers, sentence enhancers, this soap is done. There was a small moment of panic there, but I got it all in the mold. Well, most of it, a lot of it on the counter. But it is done, so we shall see tomorrow when we cut it, what we have. <sighs> Bye. Hi guys, Melissa here. We are back to cut the Grapefruit Sunrise Soap. This is the final soap in the Fruits and Florals collection that will be coming out. All these soaps will be released on April 5th, Monday, April 5th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go to bellofthebath.com, pick you one up, or all of them, <laughs> but they will all be ready to be released that day. And this video should actually be coming out on Easter. That's all right, so the last video you see will be the day before the release. And it is for Grapefruit Sunrise. So let's get to the cut. I think I've got everything lined up here. Every time it gets me. All right, so this one went kind of wonky on us. Lots of bad things happened. Lots of uh, sentence enhancers were used during the making of this video. Might have to play some music over that one. But let's see how it turned out on the inside. Ooh. Well, that's pleasantly unexpected. So you can see I've got yellow, an orange yellow, pink, orange pink. So that's all the pretty colors of a sunrise. Oh man, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, love it, love it so much. Kind of sounded a little Pee Wee Herman right then, but okay, we're good. Just keep moseying along. So, for you who are seeing this video on its scheduled upload date, Happy Easter to you. Hope everyone is well. Spending time, hopefully, able to spend time with your loved ones. Eating lots of good num num. Got to get that Easter food in there. Oh man, that is just gorgeous. So yes, happy Easter. I always loved Easter as a kid. It was such a magical time. And you had the pretty little dress. Or at least for, you know, me anyway. I got a pretty new dress. I got my little Easter basket. So I could go hunt my eggs with my cousins. After our big, huge Sunday dinners. Or Easter dinners at my grandmother's. Man, I loved her house so much. I miss being there. I miss the childhood memories of, you know, just in general, but mainly the holidays where we would get together and Easter was like, Easter was one of those, one of the big times. It was really good memories. Being with all the family, eating some good grub, and then as a kid, of course, getting to go out and hunt the eggs. 
That was always a treat. And for me, I got a little something extra out of it. Me and my father used to go looking for clover. Four leaf clovers. All the time. But especially around this time of year. Things are springing up. April showers bring May flowers. All that fun jazz. Yeah, we would always go out looking for clover and man. So my dad was like six foot three, four, five, somewhere in there. He's a very, very tall man. And I'm telling you guys, he could spot a four leaf clover from a mile away. Like that far from the ground. And he could spot those suckers and he would have a handful. And I was always so mad. You didn't find any. You know, little pouty girl. And he would always just giggle and giggle. Got a little air hole right there. He thought it was funny. Then we would go out fishing and guess who caught more fish? Moi. <laughs> it always tickled my dad like it did it made him so angry because we'd go out fishing and he would say be quiet be still you're gonna scare all the fish away quit throwing rocks in the water and it was funny because even with doing all of that i still caught more fish than he did and woo he did not like that not one bit so we always held the four leaf clover thing over my head that he could find them better than I could. So yeah, Easter River really, really, really fun at my grandmother's. All right guys, so this is, we're down to the last bar here. This one turned out like, woo, so insanely pretty. Yeah, there were uh, lots of sentence enhancers used in the making of this soap. I can assure you, you guys will see what such a huge disaster it was. There was soap all over the counter, all down my molds. I was panicking. I was yelling at the hubby. He was like, what can I do? And I'm like, nothing. So yeah, it was, you know, demon time. But we got it all worked out. Got it in the mold. And it looks good. Smells amazing. So. Alright. Well, happy Easter. And I will see you guys on release date. Remember, April 5th, 3pm. Bye, guys.